It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. On the show today, my friends, I am excited to get back to music from the gaming and anime tradition. These are two traditions that I historically don't know much of anything about. And I have enjoyed so far getting to look at some music from these universes. Over the past few uh, weeks and months, we've heard music from Genshin Impact. We heard music from Attack on Titan, Cowboy Bebop, a couple tunes from Doom, and uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's been fun so far. And today, we're taking a look at something called Chainsaw Man. And I am happy that you are here. So Chainsaw Man is a Japanese manga series. It's relatively new. Uh, its first release came in late 2018. And uh, in December of 2020, it was announced that it would receive an anime television series adaptation, and that first aired in late 2022. So it was that time, late uh, 2022, that <clears throat> the music for this new anime series uh, was also released. The music for the series is composed by Kinsuke Yoshio, but the opening theme song, uh, Kickback, that's what we're he hearing today. Kickback is written and performed by Kenshi Yonezu, and uh, that's the one that we're gonna be watching and listening to today. And since it's relatively short, uh, I've decided on listening to two different versions of Kickback. So the first one is going to be from the MAPPA official channel. MAPPA are the uh, producers of the series. And I think that this is the actual animated introduction to the episodes of the show. It's only 90 seconds. So let's take a look at this shorter version before we get to the full version of Kickback. Here is the 90 second version of Kickback and it looks like it is animated. So let's have some fun with this one. Off we go. Starts with some bass. only 90 seconds woo but we were in three keys 90 seconds we were in three different keys I think we were in B flat G and D flat that was a lot and I that's what I've noticed with a lot of this music from gaming and from the anime series, there's either a ton of musical ideas to get through a bunch of storytelling quickly, or it's really sort of uh, spread out and allows you to sort of um, stop time for a while and be immersed into the game. It's really interesting how it's either one or the other, seemingly, so far. So let's go to the, uh, the full version of kickback uh, by the same person, uh, Kenshi Yonezu. And I know that uh, there is a music video available for this on Kenshi's channel because I, I found it. But I think I want to stay focused on the music and especially after hearing 
all of the words that just went by me and I have no idea what they mean. I'm going to watch a lyric video that, at least according to Megan, who has watched this for me, has the Japanese lyrics and the English lyrics uh, for us, along with a phonetic version of the Japanese that is going on, for those of us that don't read the Japanese characters. So let's go to this one. This is a lyric version. This one is a little over three minutes, so we've got more of the song. Let's see what is happening with Kickback from Chainsaw Man. Off we go. And it starts the same. Do, me, re, ti, do, ba, dum, ba, dum. Beautiful star. So there's one change. I think that it's all somewhere different. Right. Some of these, it's interesting, I Love You is in English, right in the middle of all the Japanese words. Got back to where they began. Um, bum, 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 bum. And they're using the true leading tone with these minor keys. What? This is different. Symphonic. Perhaps There's a lot to get through here. Back to that original idea. And it ends the same way that the short version ends there, but that section in the middle that just kind of stopped the uh, the tempo and gave us some symphonic stuff, that was really cool. A whole bunch of harmonic movement there is what I heard throughout. Um, the main idea was in B-flat, like B-flat minor. And then I think they went to D, um, and I think they went to D-flat for a while too. I have no idea where that symphonic section was. Um, but the cool thing about it is that it's just just bursting at the seams with energy and it draws me in, it really does. And uh, it's fun to listen to with all the brass and everything. It's like ska and prog and big band all kind of got together and made a meatball. <laughs> and it tastes pretty good, it sounds pretty good too. So uh, I read up quite a bit 
on uh, Kenshi uh, uh, Yonazu, uh, and he is a, a Japanese musician and singer-songwriter, as well as a producer and illustrator. He's pretty young. He was born in 1991, and I also found interesting that he was diagnosed, uh, I think, when he was in his late teens with uh, high-functioning autism. Uh, and it, as I read in, it looks like music and stuff in the music world and creating music has been his go-to, sort of his mind castle that he does. He first forms his, uh, formed his band uh, at the age of 15, and he made his major label debut when he was just 21. It's amazing to have a major album drop when you're just 21. And uh, reading up on all that he's been up to really made me smile. He seems to be a really passionate musician who has had a great deal of success, both commercially and critically. He's won Album of the Year in Japan. One of his songs won uh, Best Pop Video uh, on the MTV Music Awards. Uh, his music was performed during the 2020 Summer Olympics. And Kickback, this song that we just heard, which was released in 2022, is already his most successful single to date. And it's been certified gold, and it's spent time on the charts in both the UK and the US. It's really, really uh, fascinating, uh, his career so far. And this makes me want to, just like all the stuff that I've heard from these traditions, it makes me want to hear more from this series. Uh, and more of the music composed by Kensuke Yoshio. I'm curious as to what the composed music for the anime sounds like as compared to this uh, opening theme, this kickback theme. And it looks like quite an interesting, darker story. Uh, you're fighting off devils with parts of the body that can be transformed into chainsaws. It, it works, right? <laughs> but I think further diving into this, I will save that for another time. But it was great to read in a bit and hear some of the music from Chainsaw Man, especially uh, by uh, Kenshi Yonazu. It's been really fun to get to know this a little bit and to get started in this particular universe. It's been fun, but I think that is all for today, my friends. I thank you for being with me, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.